All right, welcome back. Now, this is probably one of my favorite conversations, even though the last conversation was exciting for me. I really love poetry and writing and all of that. The next one is even more exciting for me um, because we're going to be talking about swimming. Yes, swimming. Now, we've been joined in the studio uh, by our head of sports, the city sports team, uh, Benjamin Inketia. He's joined us right here. Ben, good morning. Good to see you, How are you doing? I'm good, I'm yeah. good. It's always good to be here. Yeah. I don't get the chance to come you here a lot, you know. Often enough. Yeah, back then it used to be like every morning, yeah, but yeah, yeah. these days I pay you guys a visit every now and then, but <laughs> yeah. it's good to be here. Well, it's good to have you, it's good to have you. Yeah. Right, so there's some, some kind of good news mm -hmm. for the swimming fraternity and uh, Ghana at large. What's yeah. happening? What's happening? Well, um, like you're saying, it is good news, first of all, mm. but I, I want people to understand that we did something like this last off season. So, okay. you know, typically we are embroiled in like Premier League football mm. um, throughout the season. And that's yeah. a pretty lengthy chunk, nine to ten months. Yeah. And when it goes on a break, we still need content to engage our viewers and our listeners. Yes. And so um, we're always really thinking around the clock about things to do to fill these slots. And mm. we are doing a little pivot. So the last time it was a marathon. Yes. It was a cross-country marathon, yes. if you remember. Um, somewhere around the Brekusu route. Yes. It was really well patronized. This time we're doing a quick turn around. We're doing swimming instead. Mm. Mm -hmm. And if you look around, you notice that swimming is getting a lot more attention these days. Yes. There's, there's a lot of reason to want to learn how to swim. Mm. And so for us, we feel like it's time... To, to put the spotlight mm, on swimming. And mm, so, mm. yes, before I even spill all the details, just, just a little <laughs> something, something for the people. Yeah, now, um, also, I think that um, swimming for the longest time mm -hmm. was relegated to um, the coastal yeah. folk and yeah. coastal dwellers, yeah. right? Yeah. And so if you looked across Ghana um, for so many years, mm -hmm. it was either... You, you grew up along the coast yeah. and like literally along the coast yeah. proper, yeah. right? Yeah. Or you were some bougie, somebody that, you Who's know... Whose parents forced uh -huh, you to go to swimming lessons, to lessons by lessons, age five. Uh -huh, you know, um, yeah. but with the, with, the, with the success of people like Abeku Jackson, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's sort of thrown this into the limelight yeah. a bit yeah. to say that, look, we can actually get into this. No, we can and... Again, right, I, I would, I'd like to see Chris's perspective on what Nigeria's culture on swimming uh -huh. is, Billy, because I'd like to know, because I think that in Ghana, like you said, yeah. you hit the nail right on the head, because we don't, we don't take swimming seriously. No. I mean, except you find yourself by the coast where it's more like a survival tactic. Yeah. It's not even something you do because you, you feel like, before you know, you know how to swim. Yeah. Right. Just because you live at Elmina, you live yeah. at Jamestown, yeah. you live at Labadi or mm. any of those places, you learn how to swim. Um, I mean, by default of it being in your ecosystem. And then, like you mentioned, there are those whose parents make the conscious yeah. effort to take them to places to go swim. And mm. I'd say this because um, I think places like the Tessano Sports Club yeah. have always been in the mix as far as swimming lessons athletes yes. from way back yes. is concerned. They've always yes. been that place where people would go, um, you know, to actually get their swim lessons mm. on. And I, I've been speaking to um, some of the members of the technical directorate mm. of the Ghana Swimming Association, they tell me that it's never too late to swim or to learn how to swim. Most mm. people feel like, oh, I'm 30, I'm 40, I'm 45, I cannot swim or yeah. I'm, I'm old. Why, why, why would I bother swimming? But I, I just think that, look, and they tell me that you need just 10 days, basically, to learn the basics of swimming. So I feel like it's one of those things that people should actively get into. Um, it's, it's one of those things. Look, mm. You never know when you... Need it. Need it. Yeah. Whether for yourself, yeah. whether to save someone. Somebody, yeah. It's one of those things. Just yeah. try and, you know, fix yourself somewhere, and, get some lessons. And, and, and beyond that, I think it's in terms of exercises, yeah. it's one of the most, um, it's like a single stop shop if you're looking for an exercise that hits all parts of your body. Yeah. Yep. Cardio, muscular strength. Yep. Everything Back all quads, together, yeah. Yeah. everything. Yeah, and it, and it actually once. helps your lungs too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it mm -hmm. actually helps your lungs and people with back pain, like me, yeah. like uh, like when I swim, it mm. just goes yeah, away. Like swim workouts yeah. for yeah, for because stuff like well, that. well, I I actually swim like two times a week. Okay, every oh. week, two times a okay. week, and I work out three times in okay. a week. Oh, so. Yeah. 
about the swimming culture in Nigeria. It's the same thing like Ghana. I think most Anglophones, yeah. uh, Anglophone yeah. countries, we don't mm -hmm. really take those we things very, seriously. We are very different <laughs> from the Francophone. Yeah. yeah. You know? And I was born in the Francophone country mm -hmm. here in West Africa. Mm -hmm. So, like, swimming was easy for me. You understand? Yeah, I so, grew up yeah. swimming. I don't know what that's mm -hmm. about, though. You know, where did we, how did that happen? Because the Francophones yeah. seem to be quite different from, yeah. from us. Yeah. Um, it, you know, like, even the, with the whole sports culture, mm. like, in Togo, like, I was always born in Togo, in Togo is different. Yeah. When I mm. came here, I'm like, you guys don't work out, really? You don't run on Saturday? You don't see people on the road running? No, <laughs> Only and, few. and, 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 and I, I feel what she's saying, because, look, if you go to, I'll give you an example with Cameroon, for mm. instance. Mm. I saw their sports culture at close hand, mm. and... I began to understand why they've been so dominant okay. in the current term. Okay. First of all, there's the mentality about it. Like, yeah. okay, we are a sports people. Yeah. We are keep fitting in the morning. Yeah. We are mountain climbing. We are hiking somewhere. Yeah. Okay. We're doing that kind of thing. Even when you look at their, their bigger stadia, mm. right? Mm. They build a mini stadium by the main stadium True. where it has like, okay, we don't always have an AFCON to play. Mm. When there's no AFCON, we cannot use this to full capacity. So we use the smaller one, which has a swimming pool, oh. has a running track. Has... So there's always a mix of activities. I and I saw at least, in Yaoundé, for instance, there were at least three of such centers that were not even basically national stadia, but had all the facilities for you to work with. So I, I think it's definitely something i mean i'll have to probably check with mm. the french because the french had a lot of influence in how these yeah. people think yes, but yes, i, I definitely yeah. feel like it's there's definitely a culture but i'll give you another example mm. take basketball for instance yes. Ghana has a lot of talented basketball players yeah. look when i was in junior high school and senior high school mm. i looked at people play basketball at in fast women i'm like yo if this guy had started getting good education yeah. on basketball and structure up from yeah. like age 13, yeah. he could possibly have made the NBA. But mm. nobody to nurture that type of yeah. time. When you go to Cote d'Ivoire, when yeah. you go to Togo, you go to Burkina Faso, they all have structured basketball teams we have leagues. that yeah. compete at FIBA. Yeah. They have yeah. leagues. They are doing... Wow. I actually played at FIBA. Exactly. I played See? at FIBA. See? I played FIBA. I traveled uh, the, um, a lot of African countries just playing basketball. Wow. So when I moved to Ghana... Yeah. And there was nothing like that. That's how my basketball dream died. Yeah. <laughs> but I had to go to school. <laughs> it's, a bit, it's a bit like me. I fell, I fell in love with squash um, mm -hmm. at age 16. Yeah. And I was playing, you yeah. know, I was loving it. Yeah. And finishing high school, I was looking forward to continuing playing squash, mm -hmm. you know, in uni. Yeah. But where the squash court? Exactly. Yeah. And see, that's why I, I, I love people like Ralph Kwe, mm. um, Delfina Kwe, Chris and Sylvie. Shout out to those guys at the Ghana Swimming Association because now there's a swimming league. Okay. Mm -hmm. Imagine. So they are making a conscious effort to bring to competition bring structure. Yeah. to... I mean, these kids and mm. individuals who are interested basically mm. every single month. And mm. that's hard to do. And, and I was shocked when I found out, I'm asking these people, where do you find people to be interested in your swim competition? Yeah. They say we have more than 15 swimming clubs in Ghana. Mm -hmm. And this is, this is excluding Accra. There's Kumase, there's Sunyane, oh, there's right. Takradi. So there's like swimming clubs all over the place. And yeah. I'm asking who is participating. Yeah. And they tell me that the bulk of the swimmers they have are between ages 10 and 14. And I'm like, Whoa. that's that's a, that's almost like a attempt to change the paradigm, mm. culture shift. Mm. And I think mm. that's very important mm. for us. So for us here at City, I mean, we are, we are feeding into what we think has big potential. Yeah. And we are looking to do something really nice in July. And um, it's, it's a two-day event. So okay. uh, for those of you who are watching us right now, like I'm saying, it's coming. It's called the National Championships. So okay. um, the City, um, City TV. City TV, the National yeah, Swimming Championships. There you can see it on your screens there. It will be happening at the Bukum Boxing Emporium. And so when you talk about the Emporium itself, they, they have everything you need to swim. Mm. I mean, the start mm. blocks, the automatic timing system, and everything swimming can be a little tedious mm. but you need to record all those yeah. numbers and whatnot so um, i mean the emporium make it easy they have yeah. an olympic sized pool so this is a big deal um we're expecting what close to 300 swimmers wow. both male and female mm. and so um, a combined number of 300 for both male and female all events will be happening you are um a swimming enthusiast i'm, I'm just learning that chris swims as well so look this is like <laughs> The thing, I mean, like I'm telling you, if you don't know, I'm telling you today, mm. start scheduling some swim lessons after work. Start getting, like Weku said, 
it's your one stop shop for a full body workout. Yeah, yeah. You are working your back quads, you're working your triceps, yeah. your arms, your your tall everywhere it's getting some work. So uh, we are happy. I mean, Kweku, I'm sure you have a few <laughs> details on this um, <laughs> swim event. We've been um, talking to a few of the clubs yeah. uh, from yesterday. So I'm sure we I'm sure our viewers saw somebody, you know, camera underwater and yeah. all of that. So I'm scared. It's interesting. No, 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 no. So, um, I, mean, I, I mean, for me, it's very exciting because I mm -hmm. feel like um, people from all across Ghana will get the opportunity to compete at, you know, at a very top level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, there's going to be... Uh, backstroke racing there's going to be uh front uh, freestyle which yeah. is also known as front crawl mm -hmm. there's going to be the breaststroke, breaststroke is yep. and there's going to be um, butterfly mm -hmm. um now these events um will happen at different lengths so we're talking about mm -hmm. 50 meter races mm -hmm. 100 meters 200 and then for the older swimmers yeah. there's good we're going to throw in the 400 meters as well yeah. now for a 50 meter pool 400 meters is eight times yes Eight, that's mm -hmm. a, and I, I, you know, I, I was asking when we were, when we were doing the consulting Eight process. Laps. I'm like, yo, are you sure people can do that? Yeah. Oh, easy money. Yeah. Easy yeah, money. People I mean, actually that's, do that. That's crazy we, endurance. We, 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 uh, I went with. Yeah, of, talking about endurance, that's why you need to learn how to swim because, yeah. like, it actually mm -hmm. helps your endurance. It builds it. It really builds it. What's his name? Phelps. Yeah. Right. True. People like Phelps, their land capacity is superhuman. Crazy. You know, and so when you see him stand by the poolside, yeah. it's a huge, huge chest. chest yeah. very yeah. But huge chest. Doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't not, come overnight. It's not, no, it's not overnight, yeah. you know, and it's not all just genetics. In, in fact, it's just the training it's also builds. Build. Yeah. when you find Abeku Jackson, yeah. right? His build is very interesting, very Johnny Bravo type, yeah. also, yeah. Yeah. you know, yeah, yeah it's, it's, you know, it's really and, and, and there's very little of that that is actually. Mm -hmm. Gym and weight weight training mm -hmm. is is the pool. Yeah, mm -hmm. it does that to so you. The, yeah. the amount of effort you need to swim. It's no, no I joke. I feel it. like so I feel like sometimes so I understand butterfly. why people be like, okay, I know, I know <laughs> swimming is cool and it's good for me, but it's not my thing. But listen, no, it's, and, and, and it's I, effort. Yeah, mm. and I also think yeah. because in in uh, in Africa, oh, our side of Africa, yeah. mm. we have the fear of water. Mm. There's, there's, uh, there's, no, it's huge. But why? No. It's huge. It's like, huge. You know, huge. I think there's so many misconceptions. What age do you learn how to swim? For me? Yeah. What six. Age? Everybody six. in my house, six. six. As soon as you're six. Um, okay. okay, no. I was six. My sister was four. Yeah. So my six, girls, four, and my, my son also, um, Listen, like, three, like that. Ah. Ben, Benjamin, so we stopped putting Benjamin, them in water. Benjamin, <laughs> Benjamin, let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. So we left Ghana when I was 11 mm -hmm. to go to Malawi. Mm -hmm. Now, the school that we went to... Mm -hmm. The primary school, there's a primary and a secondary. Mm -hmm. The primary school has a pool. Secondary also has its pool. own pool. Yeah. Now, so we, we get to the primary school, and fortunately, or maybe it's unfortunate, but fortunately, mm -hmm. it, we had passed swimming season. Okay. Right? So swimming season is always when the weather is warmest. Right? So come next term, yeah. we're now getting to that season. We're going to swim. I looked at the water, and I said, so we're going to enter this. <laughs> but you see, I've always had a bit of an adventurous streak. Yeah. Right? So I was excited to jump into the water. Mm -hmm. And my mates got into the water. And I realized that, oh, the water, it be here, pet. Okay. So in my head, I said, oh, it no be anything. It's like that all the way through. It no be anything. Look, when I jumped in, for the very first time in my life, I said, hey, the thing has way too. <laughs> because suddenly, you know, it's like, it restricts you in a way yeah. I was surprised. It's, it's stronger had, than you are. I had never experienced yeah. that thing before. You yeah. know? Then it came to learning how to swim. There were some senior mm -hmm. uh, students who were the instructors. Yeah. Okay. And guess why I learned how to swim so quickly? My instructor was a form five gorgeous lady B. I mean, I mean from what? Oh, my God. Oh, man. You can imagine. Like, okay, I'm motivated to do this. I'm part. motivated, man. I'm going to let this swim in. I actually drowned the first time. Oh, really? Yeah. No, you mean you sunk. No, well, well, no, drowned. I, well, you well, no, no. Nearly drowned. Nearly drowned. Yeah. Nearly okay. drowned. Okay. So basically what happened was, I was also excited. I'm mm. also an adventurous person. Yeah. I saw the pool and they're like, my dad's like, you guys are going to learn how to swim. So the first day, I just saw the pool. And very adventurous, yeah. and I like contact sports. I'm yeah. like, I can do this. Yeah. I just like, and they put us in the little pool. Yeah. Stay here. The instructor yeah. says, stay here. I'm yeah. like, no. Uh, one that very green. Yeah. No, no, very blue one. Yeah. Yeah. I just went straight, jumped into it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, because yeah. I was a kid, yeah. all I just saw was, 
Like, did you drag you? Yeah, they just lift your head and push you out of the water. Out, like, I was like, oh my god. Yeah. So, but 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 you know, like that could have stopped someone else, but mm -hmm. it actually made yeah. me learn no, more. And that's what it is. I, I feel like the earlier you learn to swim, yeah. the yeah. better. better. But again, I'm repeating this. I don't think it's ever too late mm. to learn how to swim. Sure. And shout outs to um, Eno Safo, shout outs to Kweku, shout outs to yeah, Simon, yeah, shout outs yeah, to yeah, the big yeah, man himself, yeah. Samens. I, yeah. I saw Samens with the snorkels, you know, yeah, the, yeah, the, the yeah, glasses, yeah. going in the water, yeah. doing this thing. I was impressed. And hey, I'm taking it up. I don't really know how to swim. I you should I, learn. I have like the basics down, yeah. but I'm looking to like do like, you know, an do intermediary bit, yeah. type yeah. Yeah. brush up. So I'm yeah. interested in that. But hey, the competition is on the 15th and the 16th, 16th. of July. Yeah. And like we're saying, it's open to um, individuals who are in swimming clubs mm. already. So mm. that's what's going on. And they will be registering uh, for the competition uh, very soon. So yes, we'll be giving you um, the, the, the numbers to actually call in. Yeah. Um, put so it's details. actually on the screen. Yes, you there. have that on your, on your screen there to register. You can just send your WhatsApp to any of these um, numbers here. So um, we have uh, what you call the age categories. So yes. it's broken up into categories. We have uh, 10 and under. Okay. So we have 10 and under. Okay. They have their own category. Yeah. And then we have also 11 to 13. Mm. That's another category. So this is both for men and women or, yeah. or boys, boys and, and girls. girls. So yeah. 10 and under, 11 to 13. And mm. then we have 14 plus. Okay. So 14 plus is where a lot of the action will also happen. Yeah. So it, it should be interesting. We are, like I said, we're looking forward to um, having at least 300 swimmers. Mm. What will be happening is these people have been putting in a lot of efforts over the years to, I mean, get where they are. And we are happy to profile some of the swimmers. We'll mm. be uh, bringing some of them onto the breakfast daily yeah. as time goes on. Yeah. Um, they'll be telling us their story, yeah. how they learned how to swim, how they developed their interest, how where they are looking to take swimming to. You know, mm. uh, we were at the Olympics the last time. Never mind that our I mean, times were not outstanding, but mm. I mean, somebody always has to break that glass ceiling, and uh, that's what the guys mm. uh, have done. And so, um, like I said, it should be interesting. Mm. Um, it should be a really good day. Mm. Uh, you know how we do it here at City. I mean, everything is pretty much exquisitely done. So <laughs> this is one of this is one of those the yeah. off season national swimming championships. I'm, 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 I'm excited I'm, about I'm it. excited too. Yeah. And um, like we said earlier, we're going to have relays, we're going to mm -hmm. have medleys. Now, mm -hmm. the, the, the four different strokes yeah. are yeah. critical to remember. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we have, my favorite is the breaststroke. Yeah, yeah, me too. And I think it is my favorite just because the technique was easy it's, for me to learn. Ah, no, no, and I, I think that's always the first technique that you're always taught. Okay, no, we were taught the crawl first, the freestyle. Oh, um, nah. yeah, it was, first. A, it was the other round for me. Somehow, mm -hmm. I just fell in love with the breaststroke, yeah, and it was easy to just, you know, mm. go and do it. Maybe yeah. because we don't have to do much. I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. 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 But I, I, I always watch swimmers in awe every time. Like, yeah. when I see, oh, man, like, yeah. almost like a fish the in the water. Yeah. Butterfly. It's yeah. the, it's the most, most difficult. Yeah. It's, it's actually yeah. the most difficult. But I difficult. actually think that when I look at the swimmers, I think that maybe butterfly also brings the biggest rewards in terms of physicality. That is what it does. You know, I yeah. mean, Because I you mean, use your chest, yeah. Yeah. you use your legs, yep. your, your yeah. tummy, your everything. Arms, everything. You need yeah. arm strength for yeah. that. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's tough. Yeah. And so I think by the time we are done with yeah. this, I mean, promo period mm. to the competition period. I'm sure we would have educated our viewers a lot on mm. swimming. Mm. I mean, and, mm. and why it's necessary. Yeah. For me, like I'm saying, go out there and schedule some swim lessons. I, I realize a lot of people are working out a lot more yeah. now. Um, a lot of my friends are playing tennis now. I'm not yeah. sure where that came from yeah. all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, all of a sudden, Ghana is becoming well, a, a, a tennis player. A, a, tennis well, tennis. a lot of people well, are playing you tennis know, now. Back in the day, yeah. we, we had champions, you know, global champions yeah. um, in tennis in yeah. Ghana. So there's been a history to it, mm -hmm. you know. But I'm, I'm also wondering why the wide gaps in terms of us re-emerging, you know, yeah. because we've done things. So, yeah. again, think like bo think about boxing. Yeah. Back in the day, we had yeah. DK Poison. Yeah. You know, then you have a void for a while. Yeah, void for a new, while. Then a Zuma, you know, then a void. Then I caught it, yeah. you know, then a void. I think we need to create some kind of, sus you know, a sustained and, release and, and, of... And, and, and it's, and it's good you're saying this because I'm looking forward to us creating world beaters on the swimming stage from yeah. Ghana and hopefully Africa yeah. because yeah. that's something a lot of black people haven't done so done, far. Yeah. I mean, swimming is basically a white-dominated yeah. sport. Yeah. And right. yeah. there have always been all kinds of myths about why yeah. people of color don't mm. excel at swimming. Mm. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to this being 
a place where maybe somebody emerges yeah. from. I mean, I'll be happy to say five years from now mm. that if a Ghanaian emerges on the Olympic stage, I'll say he was at the National yes, Swimming Championship of City TV yeah. and City yeah. FM. And so yeah. it's 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 a big opportunity. Mm. It's it's a culture starter. Yeah. It's a culture changer for, yeah. for us here. Yeah. And we're we're excited about it generally. Look, yeah. two day event, like I'm saying, the fifteenth and the sixteenth, mm. um, mm. swimming clubs from all over uh, the country will be present there. Um, kids, boys and girls from between age ten yeah. right up to fourteen, 14 and up, above. Yeah. So um, I think you should look out for this one. Like I said, we'll be profiling a lot of them. So yeah you will have human faces to, to, to the individuals yeah. that will be doing the yeah. competitions. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's good. It's good. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited um, about it. I think that for me, it's, it's just imagining what the next five years is going to look like after yeah. we, we run this for a few years. Yeah. Know, what the next five years will, yeah. will, will look like. Yeah. yeah. Already, there are 15 clubs. I think there are a lot more clubs are about to be set up, mm -hmm. you know, around the more. country. A lot more. more clubs are about to be set up. And the clubs that exist are yeah. going to become a lot more powerful, a lot more influential, yeah. Yeah. you know, through what we're, what we're doing now. So I'm yeah. excited. And That's also, cool. um, parents should actually allow their kids to swim. Thank yeah. you. Very, no, very important. In, in, <laughs> insist on learning. Yeah. Learning, yeah. It's, it's one of those things I, I'm sure you will not regret investing in. Yeah, yeah. because apart, yeah. From the, the, apart from the sport side of things, mm. um, survival health, tactics. Yep. Survival techniques. Yeah. Yep. You, know, you, you never know where you need it. Exactly. You never know where you need it. You never know where you need it. Because right now, the flooding, the flooding. For real, though. We need to. Real, real talk, really. like we need to swim out of the floods. You, mu you must. Hey. Okay. If you have to, you, 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 know? you, you need to be able to hey. have it. In hand. Yeah, I know, right? I know. Anyway, Benjamin, thank you very much for joining us this morning. It's been a, a pleasure. Fantastic conversation. A thank pleasure. you, thank you, thank you. So, the two day national swimming championships is happening on the 15th and the 16th of uh, July. So, it's a little over a month away. Um, Call that number you saw on your screen, 0205-973-973. Send your name, your age, your contact details to the WhatsApp line, uh, 558 973 And um, it's going to be a fantastic competition. You don't want to miss out on the opportunity. Well, let's enjoy some music from Urban Groove.